In this video, I am going to show you how you can make this tiny llama 1.1 billion model to talk to your own data. Or in other words, how you can build a full blown RAG pipeline with tiny llama. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Large language models have become so much popular that almost everyone is using them or at least talking about it. But having said that, there is still a huge issue with these large language models and that issue is of hallucinations. Hallucination is a term for when a LLM generates output that is factually incorrect. I will show you the demo in this video too where I'll show you the incorrect or infactual wrong information produced by LLM, Tiny Llama, and then we will see how we can use our own custom data so that Tiny Llama would use that custom data and return us the correct answer. Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG helps reduce the risk of hallucinations by limiting the context in which a LLM can generate answers. This is typically done with a vector search query that hydrates a prompt with a relevant context. RAG is one of the most popular, practical and production ready use cases for Gen AI. Now in this video, I'm going to use TXT AI tool in order to not only do inference on the model, but also do the RAG on it. If you don't know what TXT AI is, I have done a detailed video on it just yesterday and I'll also drop the link in video's description so that you can watch it along. Okay, so let's get started with our RAG pipeline or our tiny llama RAG pipeline. Let me go to my terminal. This is my local Ubuntu system and let me quickly show you the Ubuntu version which I'm using. And this system which I'm using has 32 gig of RAM plus one GPU of 16 GP RAM. So you can see that I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. Let me clear my screen. Before we start, we need to install some of the prerequisites. So first, we need to install txt AI and auto AWQ. So let me install it and just run this command. This is going to download and install with pip all of the prerequisites which are needed. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. The installation is finished, but pip is complaining about few of the packages which are not installed yet. So let's install them. So it starts from here, as you can see. So let's first install this and this and also this. So let's pip install py qt, py qt web engine, dal and pathlib, plus also this one, I'll just make it block and then this numpy is already there and okay let's install these and then we will check out the further okay so let's find out what is by by qt for or the name of the package so i just have to put in the five here which i missed so let me put five here let's enter let's wait for these to get installed so these prerequisites are installed now let me clear my screen and now let me fire up my python interpreter so just type python 3 or whatever your python interpreter is and from here let's first import um, nltk let me first import it nltk and if you don't know what NLTK is, NLTK is a leading platform for building Python programs to work with human language data. It provides easy to use interfaces to over 50 corpora and lexical um, libraries. So that is done. And now let's download uh, Punkt. And uh, this is primarily a tokenizer that divides the text into a list of sentences by using an unsupervised algorithm to build a model for abbreviation words, uh, co-locations and lot of other things. So you can see that this has already been done. Okay, now that is done. And now let's try out our model. So first we are going to define our model or 
proper txt8 so i am going to import the llm pipeline from txt8 and then i am going to download my tiny llm model let's wait for it to finish okay so it has okay it has complained about this so failed okay so i need to okay let me upgrade this one okay guys i was able to fix that error after much uh, googling and stack overflowing and let me quickly show you so this is what i did in order to resolve that so i went on to the uh, ubuntu prompt ran this and then simply install this g plus plus 11 and then i was able to see that this glibc version which was required for me was available so if you face similar issue just run these commands and you should be fine okay so having said that let's go back to our actual task so now you can see that we have <coughs> imported this txt pipeline also we have imported this tiny llama model now now let's go back to where we were before and now in this one we already have imported the natural language toolkit plus uh, punct and we have also imported our uh, model okay now let's also check out how it works with a prompt so i'm going to give it this prompt i'm asking it who is fahad mirza from sydney australia let's enter now this tiny llama doesn't know about me at all um, so you can see that the response which it has printed is totally wrong uh, and it is hallucinating because it is factually incorrect i'm not a professional cricketer i am from sydney but he is just uh, making it up now we need to make sure that this hallucination doesn't occur so that is why we need rack we need to point it to our own data so what i am doing here is um, i have created another file which is called as fahad.txt and in that file i have put in some of the paragraphs or paragraphs for me and let me quickly actually show you that file so that you would understand better so let me exit from here and then let's do fahad.txt and there you go so this is fahad.txt just a text file and i have put in some information about me from my linkedin profile that who i am and all that stuff now let's go back to my inter uh, python interpreter and unfortunately i have to um, import everything again just give me a sec i'll do it quickly so i have started up my python interpreter again and i asked this question again it's still the wrong answer so let's try to fix it so the way first i'm going to show you is through the prompt context so let's first import the text extractor which is going to extract the text from my file simply create an instance of that um, module and now let's give it the file and this is a fahad.txt okay so it says it doesn't exist i think i should be in my home directory okay so let me quickly see what is happening here okay maybe file name let me provide it the full file name if this doesn't work so i'm just saying is home ubuntu.txt okay this time it works so you need to provide the full path or maybe i think the relative path something like that anyway and let's also print the text and there you go so this is my file which is correct now let's pass it as uh, context with the prompt so let me first quickly define a function which is called as execute and you can name it whatever you like but i would just call it execute so look at this function uh, i think I, it would need to be in the other line hang on let me okay sorry about that i need to print it in the one line there and this there you go so what is happening here is okay i think let me put it in proper format 
okay so that error is fixed so all i needed to do is to make sure that this is in uh, in line with this uh, function format now you can see that we have defined this function so if you uh, pause a little and look at this function what is happening is we are passing this execute function a question and then some text this text is a context and we are telling this model that you are a friendly assistant you you answer questions from users answer the following questions using only the context below and then this is a question which we have passed and then context is the text which we are going to pass like this so this is a function execute who is Fahad Mirza from Sydney Australia and text if you remember let me go back up a little so this is a text which we put it in uh, which we extracted from our file same text we are passing to this function let's run it and now let's see what the answer is because previously it was hallucinating and giving us the wrong answer that Fahad Mirza is a crit cricketer but I have now told the model who exactly Fahad Mirza is so let's wait for it to finish and come back and now you can see that it, the answer is correct and it has printed my whole CV here it is repeating this but that is fine we can take care of that um, it is telling us Fahad Mirza's season hands on technical manager in cloud and all that stuff so which is correct okay now the problem here is that it is working fine answering correctly but still it is not really scalable to pass <coughs> this text in the prompt so what we want to do we want to vectorize it we want to create embeddings out of it and then store it in our knowledge base or vector database and from there it should be accessible so let's try to do that so okay sorry i'm just need to import some of the libraries and now what i'm going to show you here is how to build a proper rag pipeline instead of passing the prompt through text so let's first import os import embeddings from txt ai and that is the beauty of txt ai because what it does is it is also an, a vector store too now look at this stream function what is happening in the stream function we are going into the directory and directory path we will be um, passing it wherever our documents are stored because your context i have just provided one file you might have thousands of files so we are going through that directory we are checking if it is uh, document txt or pdf if yes only then we are first extracting paragraph and then we are yielding it and from there this is being used by this embeddings and being stored in that embedding database that is good and now let's create a text structure just like we did with our sentence above we are just going with paragraph this time and now let's create the embeddings this is our embeddings and now let's stream it by stream I mean that we need to provide the file name or the directory name wherever your uh, stuff is so I'm just going to say it home Ubuntu and maybe I'll just you can just simply stop here um, because everything is in this directory and let me actually just say home Ubuntu and data and then close it and let's press enter quickly so I already had placed my files.txt in that data directory and you can see that it has correctly indexed it and no matter how many files you have with this data directory it will index them all okay that is very good now moving on to the next step what we are going to do we are define we are going to define two very small functions the first the first function is a context function as you can see here in this function all we are doing it we are embedding uh, we are combining our question with the embedding and searching for the similarity because that is what vector databases do they search for the similarity and then let's define another function which will actually call this context function as a rag pipeline it's a simple um, rag function which is calling this execute one above one con and then uh, passing this context and question 
and now let's uh, pass it the question which we want to ask let me first quickly specify my question which is this who is Fahad Benza from Sydney Australia and then let's print the results once it once it comes back let's wait should not take too long because it is also vectorizing it has returned now let's print out the results and there you go so it has told us in a very fine way that who Fahad Mirza is from our context file let's ask it uh, let's ask it one more question a simple one I'll just ask it about the values just to make sure it understands so this time I'm asking it list any one value of Fahad Mirza okay so it is and you can see that how quickly the it returned this time because it has already done all the vectorization and such there you go so it has returned this one but it is also returning the rest of it so anyway I think we need to maybe more uh, fine-tune it or something like that but still I think it works so this is how you can do retrieval augmented generation or use your own custom data with tiny llama using txt AI very simple very straightforward let me know if you get stuck or if you are facing any issues or error i'll be happy to help out just put it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and also share it with your network thanks a lot